Hello everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to my channel. In this video, we are going to locally install this newly released image to video model called as Ruji Mini 7 billion. We will not only install it locally, but also we will generate a video out of two images. One of the interesting bit about this model is its name. Ruji is a Chinese word which means a ceremonial scepter typically made of jade, ivory or wood. It's a traditional symbol of power, good fortune and prosperity in Chinese culture. It literally means desired according to one's wishes and it is often presented as gift to royalty, nobles and high ranking officials. So for me, you guys are the royalty. So I'm presenting this model to you. By following this video, you can install it locally and generate videos from text. How good is that? Okay, so let's get started. Before I move forward, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on very affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website and I will also give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs, so do check them out. This is my Ubuntu system and this is my GPU card, NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GPU of VRAM. Let me create a virtual environment with Konda. While the environment gets created, let me give you a bit more information around this model. So it's an open source image to video model. It starts with an input image and then it produces subsequent video frames at resolution ranging from 360 pixel to 720 pixel, supporting various aspect ratios and a maximum duration of five seconds. It has been enhanced with motion and camera control. It offers greater flexibility and creativity in video generation. And to top it off, the model has been released under Apache 2 license. How good is that? Okay, our Konda environment is created. Let's install some of the prerequisites, including Torch, Torvision, and other stuff. This is going to take two to three minutes. Okay, so now it's all installed. Let me git clone the repo of this Ruji. And that is also done. Now, all the installation uh, as far as prerequisites is concerned, but I would highly recommend that you also install all the requirements from the root of the repo. It might overlap with some of the things which we have already installed, but it's a, always a good idea. So let's wait for this one to finish. And now everything is installed. Now, in order to generate the video, the good thing is that they have provided this script, which is predict i to v image to video. So what this script does is, and I will show you shortly what exactly the code looks like. What this uh, script does it, it picks up two photos. Let me show you. This is the second photo. This is the starting photo. So it starts with this, and then this is the end photo, and it generates a video of five seconds or around that out of these two images start and end so let me run this so first time when we run it it downloads the models the model sizes are around 17 gig so make sure that you have that much space on your system around 20 gig should be fine so let's wait for this model to get downloaded model is almost downloaded Model is downloaded and also the pipeline is loaded, which means that model is almost loaded onto our GPU. And this is the GPU consumption at the moment. Let me again run it to make sure that this is a representative one. There you go. This is more representative. Over 22 gig of VRAM is being used. And it is generating the video at the moment. So let's wait for it to generate the video. It is going to take a bit of a time. And this is the ETA in front of you over 10 minutes to generate that video. Takes a bit of a time. Let me once more check the VRAM consumption. I'll just clear it and run it again. So close to, I would say 24 gig of VRAM it is consuming and that, that would be the maximum, I believe. Okay, so I will wait for it to generate the video and then we will see what it generated. Video generation is almost done. I think it is just doing some post-processing. 
while it does that let me give you a bit more information around the model's architecture so it's an advanced image to video model with about 7.1 billion parameters as i mentioned earlier this model architecture is modified from easy animate v4 model whose transformer module is inherited from hanjuan did we already have covered hanjuan model a lot on the channel one of the best text to video generation model the cool thing about this ruji mini 7 billion model is that it has three components first and foremost it has a uh, causal VAE module or variation auto encoder module which primarily primarily handles video compression and decompression and it reduces spatial re resolution to 1 by 8 and temporal resolution to 1 by 4. Also it uses diffusion transformer that generates compressed video data using 3D full attention. Also it has got 2d normalized rope for spatial dimension i have done a separate video on rope which is a rotary position and embedding uh, if you are interested in learning more about the inside mechanics of that rope please search the channel one of the interesting thing for me that it uses ddpm or denoising diffusion probabilistic model for model training i haven't seen many models using that so it is quite cool to see that it is using that and finally it uses a clip model to extract the semantic features from the input image to guide the whole video generation so and these clip features are introduced in the into the transformer by cross attention so this is the whole architecture of this model which is quite interesting let's go back and check what is happening and the video is generated as you can see let's go to the directory where we have our ruji models and by the way, I got those images from the assets directory in this. Anyway, so let's go here. There should be an output directory. And we have our example video. Let me double click on it. Let's wait for it to load. There you go. The starting image. And then this is the ending image. Let me show you those images again. I think I already have them open here. So if you remember this was the starting one and sorry this was the not this one this is a starting where the face is down and this is the ending where the face is on tilted now look at the video you see it starts with face down and then let's wait for the ending one there you go so this is the ending one let me make it a bit smaller maybe resolution is not good as i would hope let's see if it is able to do that Yep, now look at this. Yes, yeah, you see, it looks, she looks at the right hand side. So, pretty cool model, I would say. And I don't think so. You have seen any such model as of yet, which start with starting and ending images. So, pretty cool, I would say. Let me know what do you think about this review model. I'm quite impressed by it. Takes a lot of time, and but I think VRAM consumption for a 7 million model is fine. My, no complaints here for a video model but i think if we could shorten the time period that will be amazing let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps thank you for watching